Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Game Boy Color games on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to be doing for today's video is installing our free emulator. Today's video, we're going to be using the multi emulator RetroArch. What you need to do is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. We're going to be scrolling down. We're going to be coming to the download section and we're going to be downloading the latest stable. Or if you have a specific operating system, you can choose any of the other ones here. Once your download is installed, what we're going to be doing is coming to our main menu right here. And we're going to be coming to the load core option here at the very top. We're going to be selecting and clicking this open. And here we'll see a list of all currently downloaded and installed cores. From this point, we're going to be coming down to the download a core option and we're going to be scrolling all the way down until we get to the nintendo section and then we're going to be looking for nintendo dash game boy slash color in gear boy so for today's video what we're going to be doing is installing this to install it simply left click or press a on your controller some text will appear at the bottom left to say your core is being installed and once that disappears your core will be installed and you know it's fully installed and ready to go when you see this hashtag on the right hand side now for today's video we are going to be using gear boy however there is some other game boy color emulators you can use here gambets same boy and tgb duo so if gear boy is giving you issues feel free to experiment with the other ones however for today's video i'm going to be continuing with gear boy from this point we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be coming back to the main menu we're then going to be going back into the load core option and we're going to be selecting the core that we just downloaded which is gear boy and you'll know your gear boy core is loaded if you can see the text on the bottom left to say gear boy is loaded as our currently loaded core now from this point we're ready to talk about games and how to actually put games into our retro arch now i will mention for this video i'm not going to be showing you where to download game boy games although they're really really easy to find a quick google search will help you out here now currently i have two files and both of these files will be able to be opened up and played in retroarch so i currently have pokemon crystal in a dot zip and i have pokemon crystal in a dot gbc now most likely when you download games they will be in a dot zip file and that's perfectly fine we're going to be able to play dot zip files directly in retroarch however the file that is typically inside these dot zip files is a dot gbc file and that will also work just fine for retroarch now if your game comes in a dot 7 zip or dot rare format it's unlikely however it is possible you will need Runner or 7-zip to extract them. Again, links to these in the description down below. However, if you would like to keep your games in .gbc formats, which is what I would recommend, you can simply extract the contents of a .zip file by right-clicking, clicking Extract All, clicking OK, and then the files will be extracted. And you can see my folders extracted here, along with my .gbc file that we can load directly into RetroArch. Now, once you have your games downloaded and extracted somewhere on your PC, what we're going to be doing is coming back to RetroArch. We're then going to be coming to the main menu, and we're going to be coming to the load content option right here. Now, in our previous step, we've already loaded our core, so we don't have to worry about that at the moment. Simply click load content, then locate to where your games are downloaded. Now, as you can see, I currently have my .gbc file and my .zip file right here. For today's video, I'm just going to be loading up the .gbc C file, clicking A. Again, if you have multiple cores that can read this file, they will show up here. However, whatever core you have currently loaded will be the first one. So again, we can just click A and then your game will load up in a separate window. And you can see just like that, you're playing GBC games. Now, thankfully, because this is such an old console, most computers should run this without any issues and should be able to load up and play everything at the perfect speed. Now, once this loads up, you can feel free to resize and change the window if you want. So in my case, I'm going to be stretching it up further. And you can see one nice thing about this emulator is it does actually keep the original square aspect which is another nice thing here as well. Now, from this point, if you'd like to change any settings in RetroArch or in the emulator, what we can do is come up to the top left here. And we have all of our different settings here for audio options, disc options. We can even open up the menu and go through some of the RetroArch items right here. And if we scroll down, we can even adjust some on-screen layouts and a bunch of different things, including cheats, shaders, controls. And we can really experiment and make this our own. Now, today's video, I'm not going to be going too deep into these as they'll most likely work directly out of the box. However, you can feel free to do anything here as well. Now, from this point, I would also recommend connecting up an external controller. Now for the moment, I'm currently using an Xbox One controller. I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to set up controllers, but they're really, really easy to set up. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below to one of my old videos where I show you exactly how to set up your controllers in RetroArch. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to play game by color games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.